Okay, so drove down here last week and got here in Houston. It's pretty awesome. Actually, I, I went really a stupid route and ended up in Colorado, but it's still fun. Uh, so we got here, started shooting, interviewing some people, which was really interesting, getting to meet all, all the locals and get a real feel for the Houston area. Um, highlights for me were uh, running into some pigs at the Brazos Bend State Park. I'd kind of already given up on seeing them, and it's pretty nerve-wracking getting that close to a, a pretty dangerous animal. I mean, they're they're more likely going to run than than charge you. But I didn't see the the pigs that we were by till we were about 20 yards away, which was pretty close and pretty cool. Also, had a white-tailed deer literally run 15 feet behind me while we were talking about something else and didn't even know it was there. Um, then uh, then we went out to College Station, and that was absolutely awesome. Uh, first, we were, I, was Jimmy, we were not really sure what company Jimmy had, Jimmy had right? Was, yeah, not sure. All right, well, uh, our night hunt was done with a guy named Jimmy, who may or may not have been involved with Hella Bacon. I'm not sure. He was. No, oh, like, he was? We, I, we booked through him. Okay, so. Yeah. But it was like an add-on service. All right, so through Hella Bacon, we got connected with Jimmy, who guided our night hunt along with his pal Mason, and that was the most fun I've had not getting an animal. Because uh, we got, got, it, got it hooked me up with a sweet AR-15 with a suppressor on it, uh, had a thermal scope on it, so we got to test that out before we went out. I had a helmet with night vision, we had a white phosphorus scope, he had a thermal scope. So we're sitting around on top of a uh, side by side, just going through a bunch of different properties looking for pigs. We didn't get any hogs, but I mean, we saw coyote, all kinds of deer, some really nice bucks, uh, and just getting to ride around out there, feeling like you're in a Call of Duty game with all that technology was pretty sweet. Um, highlight of the trip was definitely the next day. Uh, went to went to Hella Bacon in the Bryan Airport. Got up hella um, early. Yeah, we got uh, after that night hunt. We probably got about two and a half hours of sleep, then went to the airport. And uh, you know, once we got to the airport, I was not tired. Uh, got to jump in that helicopter and literally hang out the side of it with an AR-15 with a little ECOG scope on it, scanning for hogs. And again, you know, for for their, you know, from their side of things, they considered it an unsuccessful hunt because they're looking to get, you know, 15 to 20 is what they consider an average hunt. And we we only got two. But for me, that was still, you know, I don't know if it was the experience of my lifetime, but it was one of the experiences of my lifetime. I'm literally hanging out the side of a helicopter, <laughs> shooting at I was, the, I mean, the adrenaline. I mean, you if you've been hunting, you know, you get a mad adrenaline rush when uh, when an animal comes into your crosshairs. But when that animal comes in your crosshairs where you've got the pilot saying, all right, I'm swinging around. All of a sudden you do a, a hard 180 turn in a helicopter and it drops 30 feet and you're hanging in front of a, a, a running hog. You got to pull that up, drop the safety and, and get some rounds on them. It's pretty intense. I mean, for me, it felt like a lifetime, but there was a, a little metal piece inside the trigger guard that helps you uh, allows you to discharge the magazine no not discharge which allows you to do the slide lock from either side of the the gun and i hadn't actually put my finger in the trigger guard of that weapon yet Proceed. and so Main i kept street. my finger kept finding that instead of the trigger and it felt like an eternity i think it was really about two and a half seconds but i was like i hit it and i was like no the safety's off oh my god don't do something stupid we're in this helicopter and then i finally got the the finger on it and, and was able to take it um, but that was just awesome. So, so I mean, the, the whole experience has been great. I can't believe that I did this as a job this week. I mean, I would have paid money to do a lot of the things that I did out here to, this week, but... And you got paid to do it. And I got paid to do it, so... Pretty pretty damn good job, I would say. You know, not that I did a good job, but this is a great job. You did a great job. No, we're actually passing on the spots we went by earlier to check out some hog damage they had. But, I don't think we ended up using it because they had no. it was it was previously cleaned up, so it didn't look it the best on camera. So that's yeah. also something is there there was actually way more stuff that you know that we could have shown that just didn't didn't quite look as good on camera, but or you know they had already you know because people tear shit up and then they they go and fix it as quickly as possible, obviously. But this has been a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed every moment of it. 
and hopefully we'll get to do this again. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>